In a lawsuit filed today, the owner of a crumbling building in Jefferson City says he is not responsible for any damage to a neighboring building. ABC 17's Mary Mangold is taking an in-depth look at the claim tonight. He joins us live from the building at 200 East High Street. Mary, the lawsuit refers to an agreement made in the late 1890s. And I got a copy of that agreement at the Recorder of Deeds office today, Ashley, and it addresses exactly why tearing down the rest of this building is so complicated. And that's because these two buildings share a wall. In fact, 200, 202 East High Street was built leaning on 200. That kind of construction is not around anymore. And so the ongoing legal battle is going all the way back to the 19th century to figure out who needs to pay. Commuters in downtown Jefferson City have passed by the decaying building at 200 East High Street for over four months now. A lawsuit filed today by the owner of the crumbling building, Andy Neidert, claims he is not responsible for any damage to the interior wall that connects his building to his neighbor. If that wall goes down, it could destroy 202 East High. His reasoning goes back to when these photos were taken. The lawsuit claims an agreement between property owners in 1898 makes their case. The agreement says the two buildings shall share the wall until it is condemned or destroyed by accident or other providential causes. They're interpreting it as the wall has already been compromised. The wall has not been compromised yet. Not yet. Carol Weberg, the owner of 202, says the interior wall is still up, so the deal is not off. In fact, she claims Neidert could have prevented the outside wall from collapsing. It wasn't an accident. He had plenty of time to see that that wall was failing. It had been failing for two, three years. And currently there is no plan to demolish the what's left of 200 East High Street and the clock is ticking. Uh, the city is prepared to start the process of taking over the demolition project in eight days if there is no plan. And officials warn that 200 East High Street could totally collapse if there, it, it is not addressed soon. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Barry Mangold, ABC 17 News. Barry, thanks. The owner of 202 East High Street says an engineer is coming in to inspect the condition of the interior wall and the building as a whole on Thursday.